Um, I mean, it was just hard because, like, I don't look at myself in the mirror like that at home. So, like, it was just, I guess, part of the, like, facing it, and I, I couldn't. Like, it's hard. When I look in the mirror, I just, like, I don't know, it's, like, just unbearable sometimes. <laughs> My goal is that Dr. Angie can say, oh, I have a procedure that would eventually restore, if not 80% or more of your hair, majority of it. Dr. Angie, I'm coming to see you. So whatever we got to do, we're gonna get it down. I want you to change my life. You're my guy, like my savior, and you're gonna help me. Hello, you must be William. Nice to meet you. Hey. Look at you in your purple velour outfit and your gold shoes. And look at me, I got some hot red <laughs> shoes on. So yeah, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> So before we head upstairs where we got to put a mask on, let's head over here outside and just chit chat a little bit and get okay. to know each other and find out what you're here for. Okay, cool. All right, follow me. So every once in a while, a patient will come in and they've had a car accident or some sort of burn. And uh, depending upon whether or not there is donor hair that's viable and available in the back, those patients can actually undergo a hair restoration procedure and be very successful. Take a seat right here. Awesome. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what you're here to see me for. Um, well, basically, when I was like a year old, um, I was burned, like okay. a grease fire on my head. It burned my head, my okay. neck, my shoulders. Oh my goodness. So I've been through like 27 different procedures trying to like restore my hair, get my hair back. And was that successful? Um, no. And from that point, I just kind of like gave up and just started putting on do-rags and until I found the hair units that I was getting glued on. Is that good for you? You hate them, you like them? Oh, I'm Beyonce when I got them on. Oh, good girl, you know, good girl! I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm Beyonce when they on, but like, after a while, it just sort of looks like this glued, hot mess. Like, it's a different texture from what the real hair is. So like, I'm tired of people like staring at me at work every place else, so I want to find a permanent solution. Ultimately, I want to be placed in a scenario to where I'll be able to grow my own hair and be able to do what I want to do with it. Well, in order to be able to better evaluate you and see what the donor area looks like and to see what your scalp looks like, it's time now for me to get a closer inspection of what it looks like underneath of the fabulous gold velvet do-rag. So would you mind taking it off for me? Okay, all right. Let me come around and just take a peek. William's here for me to evaluate whether or not he has enough donor hair for me to be able to do a transplant. I'm one of the best of the best, but I'm not a magician. If hair isn't there for me to remove and replace someplace else, I can't make it happen. So we'll just have to see what I'm working with. I know you were really hoping to come here today and for me to have some magic to be able to tell you that we are gonna be able to do a hair transplant but I'm sorry to say that you don't have enough donor hair to be able to cover the surface area of hair loss. Honestly, that's been my biggest fear here and we can't do this procedure. This was my chance at life to look normal. You know, part of me just was hoping that I will be able to have a procedure that would naturally bring all of my hair back. Absolutely. We are every day in the scientific hair world looking for ways to be able to create new hair follicles. When that technology becomes available, I'm going to be on the phone saying, William, get your tush back to Raleigh, North Carolina, because <laughs> hair cell multiplication is here. OK, but keep smiling, because I've got a solution for you, OK? I work with another company called Hair Club, and they do hair. Mm -hmm. Now, it is a system that has to be adhered to the scalp, like some of the things you have been wearing, but it's the Mac Daddy Cadillac that's going to be way better than anything that you've used up to this point. Mm -hmm. 
and it's not something that you have to take on and take off. So you can swim with it, you wash it, you style it, you can curl it, you can color it, you can do everything that you could if it was your natural hair. And I really think that that's your best option. Is that something you think you're on board for? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We do this through a process called polyfusion, and polyfuse allows us to work in hair with hair. So we're gonna take a very small hair sample or really a match of, of the back of your hair, and then we're just gonna fill everything else in for you, mm -hmm. okay? You're gonna go to bed with a full head of hair, you're gonna wake up with a full head of hair, you can swim, shower, you can do all of those things that you would normally do, mm -hmm. and hopefully you'll be doing a lot more because you'll be feeling really, really good about yourself. Oh, so I ain't got to hide under the covers no more. No, no. We're going to make sure that when people look at you, they're going to look at you and see William and not notice anything else. The details, when she was going through that process with me, and I'm just like, oh, shoot, they're catering to my needs versus what color you like, what style you want. All right, well, see us in a few weeks. We're just going to slap it on. You're going to be good and leave the rest up to you. Does this one seem a little too dark for you? Um. You okay? It's just kind of emotional because... Okay, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Um, it's all right. I don't know. It's, I'm, like, excited, but it's emotional because, like... Yeah. Like, I'm going to finally have hair. Yeah, yes. you are. Yes, you are, William. You are going to have hair. Yes. Yeah. Yay, yes. You're not settling for anything anymore, William. You understand me? <laughs> what I'm feeling right now is pride. I'm just so proud to be in an industry whose goal is to change people's lives for the better. Hair is important. Lack of hair can be devastating for individuals. So I just can't wait to see William again in a couple of months with his new hair and seeing how he feels about himself. Hello, William. What are you looking for, oh or what? Oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> you look amazing. When I initially found out that I couldn't have surgery to get my hair done, it was a complete, like, it shattered me. But once I got the hair system, it was like me seeing myself in a way that I never saw myself, never saw myself that amazing, that immaculate, that fabulous. Tell me what you see when you look in a mirror. I'm happy. Good. My old relationship with the mirror has just been terrible. Not wanting to look at it. You know, now, I, don't get me within two seconds of a mirror. Ooh. Because you're not going to get my attention. You don't talk to me for like five or ten minutes. Because um, the William now is not the William I was. Old William, you know, he was timid. He was unsure. He was nervous. He was afraid. But new William is beautiful and galvanized. <laughs> <laughs>